YouTube drivers are in Posey County today working to potentially find some clues in the Ohio River. Now, using sonar equipment, they say they located some vehicles underwater, and the hope is that the, examining them will provide clues that could help law enforcement solve missing person cases. Now, that's where we find our Mitch Carter right now, live for us, where the divers were checking out the cars. Mitch, of course, it's dark now, but what was going on out there? Yeah, well, Randy, Brianne, right now I'm on a boat ramp right off of Union Ferry Road, and you can't see it, but if you went over my left shoulder right now, say about 30 feet or so back there and about 20 feet down, you'd actually find two vehicles completely submerged, and that's what those divers were out here earlier today checking on. So, donning some scuba gear, YouTubers Trey and Ronnie from Narcan Divers and Brothers Underwater Recovery were looking to examine some cars that appeared on their sonar equipment hoping to gather some clues or information that could aid in finding missing people. We asked Ronnie what it is that brings them all the way out here. There is hundreds and hundreds and thousands of missing people that it possibly could be linked to one of them. That's why we're, we're fixing to dive it, go down and get a license plate off of the vehicle, and then we'll know further from there. But, you know, in order to get a license plate, you got to have somebody in the water. And that's where Trey comes in. We wanted to know, so we asked him, what's it like to dive in the Ohio River? You're going to check around the vehicle. You're going to make sure you're on it. And you're going to feel around. Once you check around, check the inside of the vehicle just to make sure there's no occupants or anything like that. Um, if you can get plates, great. If not, you should try to find some kind of identification, whether it's like an emblem, something like that, just so you have something to go off of. Now, the men say the idea was to check the vehicles out and then have authorities or law enforcement actually come and tow them out of the water. However, after diving down there, it became pretty apparent that wasn't going to be the case. Both vehicles were heavily, heavily buried in some sediment, so they weren't going to be able to be pulled out. They did, however, pull a mirror off a truck. They say it's likely an 80s to early 90s model truck, so they say it's more likely that these vehicles that we're talking about here have been under there for decades now. So their next steps were to talk to EMA, alert them the vehicles were down here, and then get back to doing what they do best, scanning the rest of the lake and continuing to dive down, looking for clues that will hopefully help law enforcement in the future. For now, reporting live in Posey County, Mitch Carter, 14 News. What's happening, y'all? It's Trey, Narc Divers. We got Ronnie, Brothers Underwater Recovery. What's up, guys? So he invited me today, and uh, technically we're in Kentucky, but as soon as we're on land over there, we'll be in Indiana. The That boat ramp over there, I believe there's a, a truck. Okay, you're good. EMA director. There's a truck, and then I think another vehicle. So there's possibly a couple vehicles in the water. So we're on the Kentucky side, because Kentucky owns the waterways. Thanks, Rick, for coming today. Hopefully it's not too cold, and I'll see you guys when we get over there. And it'll be, it's gonna be a good one, I think. And thanks again, Ronnie, for inviting us. I appreciate it. What's up, guys? We're going across the Ohio, over to the boat ramp we showed you earlier on video. It is the Indiana side, right? I don't know if it's the Indiana or the Illinois side. According to the Indiana and Illinois side. But either way, Kentucky has the water rights. So we're in Kentucky. Yeah.
put in at Uniontown, Kentucky and come across the river. I think current's too much for that little bitty magnet. I think I'm picking up the vibrations up across the bottom. I got I'm on it. I think you're right on the front of it. It just the, it's not even that magnet's that good, it's the weight. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Alright guys, so let me turn this thing off for a minute. Trey just got it with the magnet and uh, we're putting a buoy on it right now. So uh, we're gonna go right up here to the boat ramp. Uh, apparently channel 44 News heard also, so they are on their way for an interview with us. So we're gonna- Right with the boat ramp. Yep, right, right even with the boat ramp. So we're gonna go up here and uh, talk to them and uh, Channel 14 News, talk to them and see what they wanna know. How are we staying still? Uh, because you got it magneted. Yeah, but I'm not even like. It ain't much of a current. We're kind of in a, in a Yeti right here. That's see why, how the water's yeah, calm. That's why we're getting pushed back here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but anyway guys that's what we do this for we uh if it's connected to a missing person you know we got uh i've got all my paperwork with me we also got an app that we can uh look at to see if it's a missing person or whatever with this vehicle we can get a license plate off of it if not we can just clean the waterways up and get the uh get the vehicles out of the water so we'll see you soon. Yeah, the hose is around the left side because our SCBAs and stuff is like <laughs> more familiar. familiar this is anyway, Indiana. We're standing, right right? we're standing in Indiana right now. These two. My hoses are on the left side. So, uh, Which also, we're just taking a little since break. it's right on the left, your inflator uh, hose comes in on the right side. Do whatever they're gonna do. Right um, there's comms on it, but it's like the umbilical here to get uh, comms. So, so that box is like probably like $4,000. But I don't like diving with an umbilical in the river just because the people think it's safer. But from my experience, if you go around and you get wrap it up around whatever, it's not safe. Yep, and it's gonna rip your full face off and everything. And, or you're gonna be on the log going for a ride. We are standing in the state of Illinois right now. I mean, I'm sorry, excuse me. We're in the state of Indiana right now. And uh, this is the boat dock to it. And we got off right down there. And the news team is here. He's getting ready to dive into it. So we got the magnet, what I believe is a truck. Actually, it is the truck, because it showed up on side imaging, down imaging. I'm not for sure what Hummingbird live imaging is called. All right, we'll be back. Hey guys. Give me just a second. I hope I don't leak. Yeah, you so far dry? Yeah. Good. <laughs>
good? No, I can't see a thing. Oh, hang on. <laughs> right there in front of the buoys guys yep.
and see if you can catch that buoy. More video in there. Okay, so Trey's going down now for the second time. He is going down there to try to get a plate, identify the vehicle. So you guys can see his uh, his bubbles right out there. The way this current's running, running that way. So he's following this buoy down and it's gonna be out there. So with his bubbles being right here, he's probably up that way about another seven or eight feet. This Eddie's kind of pushing us over to the side. Yeah. See right there? It was on that big muddy river at one time. A fish was just leaping out of that water. One of them landed, landed right beside him, bounced right off the boat, right oh, beside yeah. him. He thought I thought it had him, but it didn't. <laughs> knock you out cold. It's coming back this way, looks like. Yep. Verification. Oh, is that what it's saying?
think he broke us loose. For the truck, for the car. That's the kind of dog I like to do. Yeah. There's a bunch of fishing strings on there. Is there really? Yeah, another blue shit. Looks like I found two rims. Did you break us loose? I don't think so if I did. Oh, well, maybe. That's what I like to do. The, the cab is like, I think the, the top of the cab's gone. The steering wheel's there. What one is this at? It's like a center. Anyway, we're about to pick that up and it'll be a dang good, dang good job. Really? Yeah. It's a truck. Oh, I'm, it is a truck? I'm pretty sure. I mean, it looks like it because that's that's a truck. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's definitely a truck there. <laughs> it was left of one. Yeah. yeah. That's an old, it's an old one. It's been down there a long time. Is. But is it completely silted in to where you can't <laughs> pull it? Yeah, it's like I found two rims, but everything's like super, super rusted. The cab is. Oh, okay. So it's been down there a long I time. I tried getting the steering wheel off, but like, I can't get the steering wheel off. Okay. No, yeah. no license plates? It's buried. Like buried, buried. Like buried, buried. You can't get to it. Like solid mud. I was able to get the two rims, kind of. I don't want to get back to it, but I couldn't get, like, everything else is like, it's, it's not just filled with like mud, like thick mud. Okay. But the top of the cab is like, so, like there's no windshield, and the top is like, it's like, like gone, but I think, or like a shell. Yeah. So it's got the outer, but the yeah. top of it's so the top gone. Of it, like this, uh, that will go in from all directions. So it's not one that's completely gone. Okay. So I don't take a steering wheel and rock it. But so no, no <coughs> remains, no nothing like that. <coughs> from, what I, from what I checked, there was like, I know bumps, it's like sticks. You know, sticks, like little sticks. Right. So no, no remains, I didn't know that. Okay. Good deal. And I was like, I, I, like, I gotta bring you something back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we gotta have something. <laughs> but yeah, it's just completely. Okay. So, so those are. That was a lot better than he's got 100. Yeah. Well, hundreds work too much for the river. Yeah. But, All right. So, uh, how you want to do this? You want to take everything off, put it in here? You want to swim to there? You want me to do like we did last time, just back up over there? I'll try. I'll try. Okay. <coughs> yeah. All right, y'all. We're back up out of the water. We're back over at Union Town on the boat ramp. There's not much left of the truck. There's a little bit of the cab. And to me, a lot of it felt like cardboard, but I thought when I was in the water, we grabbed a mirror, but this is the part that was on the body yeah, of the part truck. Part of the mirror. For, for the mirror. So we got that just to show you that there is a truck down there. But I want to thank Ronnie, Brothers Underwater Recovery, for letting me go along today. It's been fun. Absolutely, it's been a blast. I'm happy to finally meet you. Yeah. And I'm, I'm ready for the March mission. Heck yeah. And Ricky, thanks for putting up with me. You know, we didn't pull anything today. We found a lot of mud again. Always fine. But it's been a good Always day. Always find mud. Yeah. yeah. It was worse. It's been worse. The there's no visibility, but the current <laughs> cooperated with us, so it was a good, fun, safe dive. Right. And then So looking up the uh looking up the part of the sorry mirror, <clears throat> it come off of a nineteen eighty eight to a ninety one GMC pickup truck. So it could have been a stolen vehicle, something of that nature. We'll do some research, see if anybody's missing in Indiana, Kentucky, whatever. Um, see if we have anybody that's associated with 
any of those type of vehicle and then uh you know let you guys know if we find out anything it's definitely been in there quite a while yes for whatever ever the condition that it was in yeah more than likely it's just a uh, stolen vehicle and they just got rid of it but thank you all very much for tagging along and appreciate it and thanks for coming out i appreciate it you're welcome and i'm sure that ma the majority of you are already subscribed to uh, brothers underwater recovery because i've seen a lot of the same people in live feed yeah but just in case you're not check out ronnie's channel i'll have him in the link of the description until next time and see you all in the water until next time stick with us guys thank you all